Hi, I'm Pete from SKF. Today we will be showing how to properly diagnose an ABS wheel speed sensor problem on a vehicle with a Generation 3 hub bearing with an integrated wheel speed sensor. Some of the tools that you will be required to use today is one, a scan tool, and two, an ABS sensor pinpoint tester. So we're working on a 2010 Chevy Malibu with an active ABS system. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to properly hook up our ABS sensor pinpoint tester correctly on the ABS sensor itself. First thing you'd like to do is disconnect the ABS sensor at the sensor plug. After unplugging the ABS sensor, I will show you how to inst properly install the ABS sensor pinpoint tester. First, take your black chassis ground and hook it up to a ground on the vehicle. Next, take your two green leads and hook it up to the ABS sensor itself. Spin the wheel and look, at for, look for rotation. If you have rotation, your ABS sensor is good. If you do not have rotation, one thing you might want to check is reverse polarity on the green wires. Change the wires, reverse the polarity, and then recheck it by spinning the wheel. If you do not have any rotation, then you have a bad wheel speed sensor. Next, we will be checking the ABS sensor harness vehicle side with our ABS sensor pinpoint tester using the two green leads on the tester, hook them up right to the connector on the vehicle side. Next, turn on your tester, go to the sensor simulator mode by using the mode button, and go to the respective system you have. This system is an active system, so we'll go right to the active. Notice the rotation. This right now is simulating wheel speed going all the way to the EBTCM. After installing our ABS sensor pinpoint tester, next we take our scan tool. Look at the right front wheel speed sensor speed Notice it is at zero, telling us that we have a malfunction on the vehicle harness side. Based on the results, we found that we do not have any type of wheel speed signal going to the EBTCM. A common failure on these, on these vehicles is a broken harness on the vehicle side, usually inspecting the clip, the connectors, the harness, and then separating the split loom and possibly finding a brake. After further diagnostics, we found and repaired a break on the ABS sensor harness on the vehicle side. So now we're going to recheck the system first by hooking up again our ABS sensor pinpoint tester, turning it on by going to the simulator mode, and going to our active setting. By turning the simulator on, it is sending the wheel speed sensor signal up to the EBTCM. Now we take our scan tool and monitor the right front wheel speed sensor speed. As you can see now, our wheel speed sensor data is at 14 to 15 miles per hour, which verifies the repair was made correctly. In conclusion, the SKF ABS sensor pinpoint tester is an excellent tool to help diagnose wheel speed sensor problems.